Hello everybody, in this video we will be talking about the story of Habil and Qabil, the two sons of Adam a.s. Enjoy. We travel back to the beginning of mankind's presence on earth. After Adam a.s. and his wife were banished from paradise, eventually Adam a.s. and Hava started to build children, giving the earth its first inhabitants, and from there earth was filled with mankind. Life was simple. With agricultural roots, Adam a.s. was taught certain basic skills, such as grazing, farming, milling flour, and baking bread. It was not a life of luxury, and there was no material wealth to be obsessed with. Yet, before long, jealousy sparked the first crime in humankind. It was a crime of murder and was motivated by the jealousy of Kabil, one of the sons of Adam a.s. against Habil, his brother. Although born of the same womb, Habil and Kabil had opposite personalities. Habil had an energetic and hard-working disposition and carried on his affairs in a humble manner. He was in constant remembrance and thanks to Allah and loved to sacrifice in the way of Allah. He had a kind and compassionate personality and never complained. He lived his life in complete reliance on Allah and was extremely generous by nature. Kabil was quite fact the opposite. Apart from being lazy, he had no gratitude towards Allah. He was constantly disconnected with whatever Allah had given him and never spared the time to thank Allah for the bounties bestowed on him. There was little if any remembrance of Allah in his heart, for he had constantly blaming, complaining and comparing his circumstances to those of others. He looked on life through the eyes of jealousy and envy, blaming everyone, Allah and his parents included, but never himself. According to some reports from the companions, the incident was sparked when Kabil refused to marry the twin sister of Habil, who was designated to him, preferring instead his own twin sister who was younger and more beautiful. The matter was referred to Adam a.s. Being a fair parent, he did not take side or encourage sibling rivalry by judging in favor of one son, but rather asked Habil and Kabil to consign the affair to Allah where each son was to sacrifice a gift to Allah and let Allah decide the outcome. In the early days, retribution for sin was swift and obvious. Similarly, when sacrifices were made to Allah, the evidence of whether the sacrifice was accepted was immediately apparent, for a fire would descend from the sky and claim the superior sacrifice. Due to his generous and God-fearing nature, Habil was keen to offer only the best to Allah. Being a shepherd, he sacrificed the choicest of his lambs. Kabil, on the other hand, offered a bundle of most inferior crops. Instead of displaying humbleness and generosity towards Allah, he rationalized that Allah was no need in his offerings, and thus gave seeds and crops of the worst quality. There was no element in sacrifice in Kabil's behavior. Both offerings being presented, a fire devoured the sacrifice of Habil, leaving Kabil's meager offerings untouched. They recite upon them the true story of the two sons of Adam. When they offered a sacrifice, it was accepted from one of them and not from the other. Invariably, Kabil was angry and jealous that his offering was not accepted by Allah. True to his nature, he was upset by Allah's decisions. Some reports mentioned that he accused Adam salam, of supplicating in favor of Habil for his sacrifice to be accepted. What was to prevent Kabir from accepting and being content with Allah's decree? What stopped him from seeking Allah for the wisdom behind the events? What was to restrain him from making repentance to Allah for his substandard offerings? Or from seeking Allah's guidance in why his sacrifice was rejected? It was jealousy and arrogance. Here we can see how Satan's game repeats itself. Kabil was discontent, and this discontentment bred envy and jealousy, and from such jealousy, Allah blinded Kabil and made him arrogant. Kabil set out to confront Habil, whereupon he told his brother, I will kill you. Habil, not intimidated, responded, Allah accepts only from those who are pious. Although Habil was the stronger of the two, instead of retaliating against Kabil's threatening behavior, Habil continued, Yes, if you stretch out your hand against me to kill me, I shall not stretch out my hand to kill you. For I fear Allah, the Lord of the worlds. I would prefer that you bear the burden of my sin and your sin, and so become an inhabitant of the fire. That is the recompense of the transgressors. Habib's reaction demonstrated his self-restraint, piety, and noble character. Kabul, on the other hand, allowed himself to succumb to the whisperings of Iblis, Instead of seeing Allah's guidance, and raised by the reply, Kabil killed his brother with an iron rod, thus committing the first ever murder in mankind's history. 
Thank you for watching the video. If you want to learn more about Cobb and understand his position, stay tuned for part 2.